Hello, this is Frank Neely from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. Well, today, Maria Bartiromo on her Sunday Morning Futures program spoke to the President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, who talked about many aspects of the election fraud being perpetrated against him. In particular, this section, the President talks about the inaction of the FBI and the Department of Justice to try to protect the election and safeguard it from fraud. This is great stuff. Thank you, President Trump. What, where is the DOJ and the FBI in all of this, Mr. President? You have la laid out some serious charges here. Shouldn't this be something that the FBI is investigating? Are they? Missing in is the DOJ investigating? Missing in action. Can't tell you where they are. Uh, I ask... Are they looking at it? Everyone says yes, they're looking at it. Uh, look, where are they with uh, Comey, McCabe, and all these other people? You know, I, I said I, I'll stay out of it. I wish I didn't make that statement. I, there's, there's no reason really why I have to. But where are they with Comey, with McCabe, with Brennan, with all these people? They lied to Congress. They lied. They leaked. They they spied in our campaign. I see Carter Page is bringing a lawsuit. That's good news. Where are they with all of this stuff? And, you know, what happened to Durham? Where's Durham? So, you know, you're asking me a question. Uh, these people have been there a long time. And I know FBI and FBI is great at the levels that we talk about. But uh, I just it's inconceivable. You You would think if you're in the FBI or. Department of Justice, this is this is the biggest thing you could be looking at. Where are they? I've not seen anything. I mean, I just they just keep moving along and they go on to the next president. They've been there for a long time. People don't understand this. They've been there for a long time. Some of them have served a lot of different presidents and uh, well, they have their own views. Uh, all I can say is I haven't heard with all of the fraud that's taken place. Nobody's come to me and said, oh, the FBI's nabbed, you know, the people that are doing this scheme. Uh, the FBI is looking at Dominion, which nobody even knows where they're based, which nobody even knows where the votes are counted. You know, the votes in Dominion, they say, are counted in foreign countries. OK, can you believe this? Now, Dominion is also I mean based in a, in a number of foreign countries. One of them is Canada and Canada refused us to use Dominion and they're based there. They, don't, they won't get anywhere near. Texas will not get anywhere near Dominion. I spoke with the attorney general. I spoke with a lot of a lot of different people. Texas, you should see the reports that Texas wrote on Dominion. They wouldn't use them. They wouldn't under any circumstance. They wouldn't use them. So you know, they, as you as you probably have heard, but can, Canada does paper votes. And the only way this is going to be safe is paper votes. Even the mailmen, look, the mailmen are carrying thousands of ballots back and forth, back and forth. There are many mailmen that are in big trouble right now for selling ballots, getting rid of ballots. This is the craziest thing you've ever seen. But uh, well, many, ballots, me... many ballots with the name Trump on were thrown out. You've read that. They found ballots in a river with the name Trump on from the military. They were signed and they were floating in a river. They found ballots under rocks that had the name Trump on. They were signed. They were signed with Trump. We won the election easily. There's no way Joe Biden got 80 million votes. I just said there's no way Joe Biden beat Barack Obama in the black communities of various cities. And then he did very badly compared to Obama in other cities throughout the United States. There's no way it happened. This, this election was a this fraud. It was a rigged election. This is disgusting. And we cannot allow America's election to be corrupted. We cannot. So you believe you can prove that the com computers can circumvent any controls that are in place. And before we leave the subject of Durham, I feel like something happened in September. I don't know what happened, but we were all expecting Durham to come out and A.G. Barr to be aggressive. He told me back in June that mail-in ballots opened the floodgates of fraud. Why wasn't anything done about it? Why weren't there surveillance cameras to shoot what we know now to be trucks backing up ballots, uh, for example, in Michigan, 
And finally, this question, will you appoint a special counsel to investigate and to continue the investigating into what took place in the 2016 election? You mentioned Jim Comey and Andrew McCabe not facing accountability. Will you appoint a special counsel? By the way, Comey and McCabe, that's the least of it. You talk about the Logan Act. They used the Logan Act on General Flynn, who I was very proud to pardon. Uh, but they wanted to use, and they did use the Logan Act on General Flynn. And you know where that started. Look, this whole thing is a terrible situation. This should have never been allowed to happen. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an embarrassment to our country. All over the world, they're talking about it. And, yeah, I would consider a special prosecutor. Because, you know, this is not a counsel. It sounds so nice. I went through three years of a special counsel prosecutor. I call prosecutor because it's a much more accurate term. They spent $48 million, Weissman and all Trump haters. They spent $48 million. That was the Mueller investigation. They went through taxes. They went through everything. For $48 million, you look at everything. And they found no collusion, no nothing. They found nothing.